Hi, and welcome back to Learn Da Vinci Resolve. I'm your host, Kerry Garrison. And in this video, we're going to cover creating titles. Uh, a lot of people have complained that there's just really nothing you can do with titles in DaVinci Resolve, and I beg to differ. I think there's a lot you can do with titles. It's one of the things that I enjoy doing in my spare time is creating a library of titles that I can have at my disposal to use when I need. For all your DJI needs, turn to the experts at multicopterwarehouse.com, the number one authorized repair center in the United States. See why Multicopter Warehouse has been voted number one time and time again at multicopterwarehouse.com. So let's see what we can actually do with titles and how to get started. So I've got my, my video clips down here and I'm going to go ahead and get started by going up to the effects library and over here on the left we have titles. So by default there's a couple different styles. There's a left lower third, a medium lower third, a right lower third, a scroller, and just a text. The lower thirds are all right. They're okay. I, I typically just go with text because I can do what I want with it. And I'm just going to drag that over here on my timeline. And we have this beautiful looking text, right? It's gorgeous. Don't tell me we can't do anything with this stuff. Well, let's see if we can just make it a little bit better, right? So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go up to the right and click on Inspector. Now I can see the attributes for my title. So first off, let's call this, uh, this was, this is the Justice Center. So I'm just gonna, Justice Center. And we can change the font and I'll use something like um, trebuchet. And let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's just give it, uh, just a little something here. Uh, not too easy to see yet, but we're going to work on it. Those things that we can add, we can add tracking to it. We can add line spacing. So a lot of the standard type of font things that you can do, you just don't see them reflected in the text box. You see them reflected on the screen. Now, if I just want to go, you know what? I want to try all caps. Go to all caps, you know? All lowercase, small caps. There we go. Oh, I kind of like that one. So let me bump that up a little bit. Then we can get into alignment, anchoring, position. So maybe I want to justify it left or right, up or down. Let me put this down here near the bottom here. Our zoom percentage, so I can zoom it in or out. Again, it's the same as doing it with the uh, font size there. I can rotate it to different angles. Create a drop shadow. Now, you see some of these features are turned on, but we don't see anything because the settings aren't set to show anything at that point. So here we have a black drop shadow with no offset. So it's exactly where the text is. If I move it a little bit to the right and a little bit down, now we've got a little more of a drop shadow there and we can add to the blur on that and the opacity and clean it up so now we've got a nicer looking uh boring title there same with the stroke so i can create the stroke it's already there i just have to give it some size now i'm not a big fan of stroke so we're just going to keep going here and then we have background so background will put a background on the text. And again, nothing shows up until we adjust some settings to allow it. So here we see height is at zero. So I'll just go ahead and give it a little bit of height. Now sometimes it doesn't center it quite right. And so I can go to my centering controls and adjust my up or down centering for it. Uh, maybe I want a little more or a little less rounding on the edges so we can play around with that see how that works out for us the opacity so i can make it just barely show up or i can make it black uh, or any color that i choose let's choose a different color here and uh, we'll pick a dark blue 
just so we can kind of see what it looks like. So now I've got some control over background. If I go to the next tab up here, we're on text. It's all the text manipulation. I can go to video, and now I have some of the other tools that we've seen in the edit page. We have zoom, position, rotation angle, anchor point, pitch, yaw, flipping, cropping, a dynamic zoom. So I can timeline these things or keyframe them so that I can make the text come out or pop in or bounce or zoom in or zoom out or rotate in or rotate out. So there's a lot of things I can do to manipulate or animate the text as it's happening. Now let's just get something that's going to look uh, maybe a little bit more modern-ish. Uh, uh, this definitely is not a modern looking <laughs> title of by any stretch. So I'm just going to throw down another title here and I'm actually going to I'll, do, I'll throw two of them on here and we'll call this first one Justice and we're going to change the font on that to Verdana and let's see here I'm going to pull it down and over to the right a bit I'm going to select the next one, and this is going to be center. Again, we'll match the text with Verdana, and we're going to change the color over to red and move it into position. There we go. So this is uh, a title that I've seen used on some TV shows lately. One color for the first word, different color for the second word. And if we want these to fade in and out, we have our handles here on our, our clips. So we can always just manipulate these in a little bit, how many frames we want. So that's one way, so we can fade in and then fade out if we want to. Or just another quick way of doing it is I'm just going to select both of them and hit Command T and it will apply whatever my default transition is, which in my case is a cross dissolve. So I'm going to turn down my audio here quite a bit. I don't want this blasting us. And let's take a look at what this is. So let's add one more style element to this, and that'll be a line underneath. So again, something else I've seen recently on TV, and that's how I create a lot of my titles is by watching TV. And when I see something that looks like a cool title, I'll just copy it and stick it into my title library. So here I'm going to try and come up with something a little bit different. And so I want just a really narrow line here. Oops. Point zero zero two. That's not quite enough. Point zero five. Yeah, I like that. Okay, then we'll adjust our width. And our position. I'm actually adjusting both of them here, and that's definitely not what I want. So I'm just going to select one, and this is going to be my just a center. Now we'll do a little more adjusting here, and I'm going to go to my justice one, and I'm going to make that one red. Oops, don't want to change the 
color of the font there. I just want to change the, the background. We'll make that red. And let's adjust the width on that. So there we have kind of a cool looking uh, font or a uh, cool looking title using the background to create a line to do different effects here. So I've got a red line under the white text and a white line under the red text. So you can keep mixing these things up and play around with different ways of creating unique titles. You have to think outside the box sometimes to figure out what you can and cannot do. But believe me, there's a lot more to it than most people think initially. So can't wait to see some of the titles that you guys come up with. Let us know in the comments. Send us links to your videos so we can see the title treatments that you've come up with. So be sure and click that like button and click on subscribe and the bell icon there to be notified whenever we put out a new video. This has been Carrie. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.